All right, literally just outside FedEx right now, and as you can see, I picked up my package. There you go, all written in print. Where's my name at? Name right there, Alex Le Clemens. So yeah, stoked. I'm gonna take this back to the apartment and uh, get it popped open and uh, more video to come. But yeah, golf clubs are uh, all good to go. All right, back to the Daily Xander 102. I am killing it right now with this functional uh, walking with the golf clubs. Uh, as you can see, I'm Daily Xandering it up while I have the golf clubs resting on my shoulder. Um, that's what I call some solid multitasking. But yeah, literally behind this gas station is where I live. And literally, uh, as I turn, behind our next like couple doors down from the fidelity investment is where the fedex is at oh man i'm starting to feel the burn right now <laughs> is uh is where uh i just got the uh stuff all right i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to put this down and switch shoulders because <laughs> i'm really starting to feel it right now but uh i know i can make it suck it up <laughs> quick thing i want to add it's one of my goals that I did write down, unattainable goals. Kind of goes back to I've always wanted to have a private island. But on top of having that private island, I wanted to uh, do a combination on that private island business-wise of... Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm all good. I just have to resh reshuffle the uh, golf clubs that I'm holding. But yeah, I want to do a combination of business-wise on that private island of kind of hosting or putting on some type of a festival music-wise, combination of health retreat or something. I think that'd actually be pretty cool. Also really enjoyable too. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Sorry for the film just all of a sudden getting uh, diagonal there. My uh, grip is slipping by the second, but I just made it to the apartment. That's how close I live to FedEx. Tisk tisk. I should, uh, hmm, just thinking I didn't necessarily need a PO box if I could just ship stuff right to that FedEx location. But what else? That's how it goes. All right, I'm going inside, open this up, more to come. Alrighty, opening up the Le Golf Clubs right now with a knife. Shout out to the FedEx in North Dakota that wrapped this. They did a really good job. Definitely what you want. Only the shipping golf clubs. A little story on these golf clubs. I originally got them when I was 13, 14, 15. Actually, not 15, probably 12, 13, or 14. Somewhere around that age group. Probably it's been more 12 or 13 back in North Dakota. Specifically, I want to say Fargo, North Dakota. So I got them to play against sports. Pretty sure that's Fargo. And I played for them a couple, uh, a couple times over one summer visiting in North Dakota and Minnesota. But also I might have over two summers, but the, note, the inclination was I was going to be using them more often uh, because I'm visiting North Dakota and Minnesota. Well, often, but it didn't really work out that way. And so, literally, these have been sitting in Southwest, my uncle's garage for about the past eight, nine, I don't think ten years. Well, about ten years, yeah. So, uh, essentially, it's like having a brand, a brand new set of all stuff, really. It's pretty exciting. No more having to pay for these red cold rescue clubs. Also, you're going to know. Clothes that I have, and they're not fancy clothes by any means, but I'm more than happy and satisfied to actually have my own clothes. By the way, the lefties rule when it comes to swinging left handed. You know, I write right handed, explain that, ambidextrous all the way. And here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We got some clothes. Brand. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's got a mark on it. 
Shows you I've definitely used them a long time ago though. Crossfire. That is the weight of the foot. So, this doesn't seem like a full set, but uh, I'm more than happy with this. More than happy. Very satisfying. Cool. Club or driver? Yep. Definitely use when I bought these, but sweet, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Check it out. I'm gonna bust a hole in this apartment right now. What? Oh, I'm having too much fun. Uh, next thing I gotta do, clean up this mess, of course. Eh, take a picture of the golf club, send it to my Uncle Wayne. And from there, finish the coffee. Check out this food I made. I made a bunch of food right here so I can finish up some notes. Try and uh, look into potentially uh, scheduling some meetings when I'm in Las Vegas and Oklahoma, potentially. Also, making broccoli and fish and rice as we speak. Already made coffee. What? Mr. Alex is on it. Not perfect by no means, but I aim to be productive and productive I shall be. Thy call me the blonde wonderkin. <laughs> All right, I'm having way too much fun. Uh, more updates to follow. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next update here for the Daily Xander 102. Back to Z Nation number 102, Daily Xander 102. As I walk to Whole Foods, one of the goals I forgot to mention, and I really should look at that list again that I wrote. Um, hard to find. It's amazing to think I just did that yesterday. It feels so long ago. One of the goals I forgot to mention was visit all seven continents in the world. So what I should have said is visit all seven continents in the world. Then from there, go to outer space. Who knows what that'll be? Who knows what that entails? But as civilization, businesses, technology advances, evolves during time, this present day to the future, definitely going to be a, a leap for sure to some type of space tourism or who knows who knows where it's going but it's definitely going somewhere and there will definitely be a group of people that are either capitalizing or experiencing space so another attainable or unattainable i'm just going to call them goals vivid bodacious goals let's not even call them unattainable or attainable goals we'll just call them the VB goals, vivid, bodacious goals. Let me hear yours. <laughs> I can't hear yours. <laughs> uh, I'm being silly again. <laughs> All right, time to get some work done. More to follow. What is good? Back to Daily Xander number 102. Ended on the final note. Um, all done with writing my notes up. Spent about an hour kind of looking at those things I could possibly do on the side while I'm in Oklahoma City. And right now, I came to the conclusion I could possibly just go to an improv show as uh, my hour of searching people I could potentially meet up with. Didn't really find any prospects uh, that I was uh, interested in or had that many to really pick from also. Um, but yeah, I'm going to upload this video right now as I speak. But you have already watched this video by the time I do that. So yeah, it's getting kind of nippy right now. I think, or I know for a fact, that there's a frost advisory out right now. So that kind of just uh, tells you how unusually cold it is right now compared to what it usually is. Um, and I say that just referring to like the past month where it's nice all the time. It's still nice, it's just a little colder than usual. Um, but yeah, a good productive day. Go back, finish, eat some food, and hit the hay and do it all again tomorrow. Potential prospect of maybe investing and attending in this uh, entrepreneur conference. It's actually here in Orlando, Florida in July, but I need to look into it more because it seems kind of pricey. And I don't know the full details, although it seems pretty highly recognized and such but uh we'll see 
as always, one thing at a time. Focus on the few, not the many. And go from there. With that said, I'm going to keep chugga lugga 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 along. As this has been the Daily Xander at number 102. Catch you in the next installment. Peace, love, unity, and respect. As always, keep it pithy, keep it blonde, keep it smiling, and keep doing you and evolving, growing, and enjoying your seat on the world's, not the world's, the galaxy's only spaceship called Mother Earth. On that note, have a pleasant and wonderful night. Peace.